Well, you have about 15 restaurants all over the world right now. Uh, right now, we have uh, we have 15. We have two groups of restaurants. We have a uh, Jean Georges Enterprise, which we uh, we have 15 restaurants, and we have a new uh, group that co is called uh, Culinary Concept with Jean by Jean Georges, which have another 15. So. This week we open our 30th restaurant. So how often do you work together? We work on a weekly basis. I mean, every time, um, first of all, Paris Street, you know, we work a lot with season. We change dishes pretty often. And every time I change the dish, obviously I call Jean-Georges, you know, to come over and to basically advise me and tell me, you know, which direction, taste the dish, maybe a little more lime juice, a little more salt, this and that, you know, tweak, tweak around the dish. So we work pretty close together with every dish. I mean, we, we talk every day on the phone and uh, we probably see each other like one or twice a week so I mean I live upstairs so yeah. he has to be behave you know he's just below me <laughs> I tried to push him away I wanted him to be a doctor a lawyer you know some you know because I don't think it's a gift this this, this business because you you know when everybody is uh, going out for dinner you have to work until midnight every night so I'm doing this for 38 years now and I don't think it's a the easiest life in the world, so I wanted him to, to really do something else, you know, try to find his own passion. And are you happy with the decision that you made? Absolutely, I don't see, you know, anything else I would do, basically. That's my passion, that's what I love to do. Well, he's like me, he's, he likes to please people. I think this business, if you just cook for yourself, sometimes chefs are not very successful, so... But if you cook for a public, you want to please people. I come to the business because I want to please. You know, when I was a young kid, I was a uh, organizing birthday party for uh, when I was seven years old for for my cousin, for my everybody. Always um, called me up and say, "Oh, can you organize my birthday party?" So I'm an entertainer since I'm very little. When you uh, when you say people happy, whatever, I do the same thing. I kind of poke my head upstairs and every, you know, on the first bite, I try to look at the, um, the expression of people. If they nod their head, if they like, they close their eyes when they're eating it, and that's. The best, you know, reward, you know, after all those hours of working, the whole, you know, the whole team downstairs. When you see that, it's, it's the best thing. So I think today, what people do is really the young chef. I mean, he's been doing that for a long time. But yes, it's the old organic chicken. But if you put a little licorice, it becomes a new chicken. So I think people are looking for familiar fare. You know, they're looking for the same proteins, but with a new, a new technique, how to cook it, how to present it on a new combination of flavors. So what is it like working with your father in the same business? Um, I mean, after you say, I mean, at the beginning was pretty, I mean, pretty tough because, you know, that it's his way. So he had to teach me everything, you know, he had to be clean, organized, um, you know, the palate, like the, the flavors was looking for. So, I mean, the first few years, obviously, was, it was tougher on me. But as I got better and as I got, you know, like following his way, the, his way, you know, his mentality, we, you know, started to work together, and now it's uh, it's fun. It's actually good. I learned so much from him. You know, like uh, it's a good, good experience. Yeah. I think in this business, you have to be really. You can you can be a dictator. You know, when you call, when you run a restaurant, you have to be really. So you really, in terms of managing, because being a chef and being a running a kitchen with a talking to a customer, you know, it's it's not easy for everyone. You know, to really to run to be a to be a manager as well, because you have. On the end, you have to be a cook, but a kitchen manager as well. Exploring two generations of New York's culinary history with Jean George and Cedric von Gerichten, this is Caroline Shin with the Chef's Connection.